Are you someone that really wants to start building your abs and get them to really pop over time? Because if so, this five minute at home ab workout is going to help you achieve those exact results. And you have no excuses to not be doing this whatsoever. It can be done in the comfort of your own home or anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're traveling, you could even do this in the airport. I travel around a lot. I've trained many times in an airport. So just get it done. Get your lazy ass off of sitting on it and just make it happen. All you need is a floor and you will want a hit timer, which is known as high intensity interval timer or tabat timer. And the first exercise we are going to be doing is plank ups and downs. And for each exercise, you're going to be resting just a mere 10 seconds. And you're going to do the exercises for 30 seconds on, except for the last exercise, which you are going to do max effort. So get your timer, get it all set up. Mine's going to count down from five to one. Make sure when you're doing this one that you're coming down as low as you possibly can without resting on the floor and as high as you possibly can up in the air. Make sure you're engaging your abs and using your abs as much as you possibly can. No cheating, because otherwise it's just not going to hurt your abs as much as possible and you're not going to grow your abs as much as you possibly can when you're resting and recovering. Alright, so 10 seconds rest. Next one is Roman twists. I love this one, it's really good for your beliefs. Make sure you're not sitting directly upright, otherwise you're not gonna be engaging your abs. Lean into it backwards as much as you possibly can without falling flat on your back. And twist as much as you can to either side. Really doing the full range of motion and doing it with perfect form. And rest, 10 seconds. Next one is gonna be the sit up hold. And this one should make your abs burn quite a bit. So you do this one, lift up like so, legs up in the air as much as you possibly can. You can have them as straight as you want. The closer they are towards you like that, the harder it's gonna be. And the more you lift it up off the ground, your back half, well, the top half of your back, the more it's gonna hurt. And this is actually quite intense for me. I've had the battery die once, and the other time I had an error happen. So this is the first time I'm actually making this now. <sighs> 10 seconds rest. <sighs> Next one is plank side to side. So how you do this is twist, get in the plank position, twist all the way to one side. Again, don't rest on the floor. Twist as much as you can. Have one foot go on top of the other, as you can see mine are now. Really engage your abs as much as you possibly can. Get your abs to actually be moving you side to side. You're not using all of your legs. It's a little bit, but not that much, if you're doing it correctly. And rest. Next one is half burpees. This one's really gonna get up. Your heart rate, I don't know why I got in that position because I need to be back in this position again. Jump as close as you can to your elbows. Next up is going to be bicycles. This one will be done for 30 seconds. The next one after the next rest will be for max. So, bicycles, how you do these is like this. One leg out straight, bring one elbow to the other knee. Twist as much as you can. Lift the top half of your back off the ground as much as you can. Don't do the reps too fast. It's not gonna give you the maximum benefits from this exercise otherwise. So 10 seconds rest. 
and then do plank, but do it leaning forward as much as you can. This engages the lower abs, it's shown from scientific research to give you better results for growing your abs. So instead of being here, be like this. And lean forward as much as you can, hold it for as long as you can. Remember, you're your only competition, no one else is. So every time you do this workout, just try and increase the length that your max effort was from last time. Try and be the next time, the next time, the next time. Some days you're gonna be weaker, some days you'll be stronger. Sometimes you better beat it, sometimes you won't. But just do your best. And make sure to tense your abs as much as you can. Do something gonna punch in the stomach. The more you engage your abs, the more it's gonna hurt. So I'm gonna stop there, I could go further. I said I've already done two rounds of this, so I just made a shoulder workout video and a chest one as well. So that's the end of this workout. Some bit of information that I'd like to leave you with. You wanna do this anywhere from one to two to even three times a week. It depends on how many rounds you're gonna do because you can do way more than one round. I normally, with a lot of the routines I'm doing, do it three times in a row, but if you only have time, do one round, that's absolutely fine as well, but you'll just have to do it more times within a week. And if you wanna burn more calories, put more clothing on, it's gonna make heart rate go up, you're gonna burn more calories, and your body heat is just gonna get way, way hotter, which is another thing that burns more calories. And if you wanna be notified of when new videos are uploaded, such as these ones, make sure you do click the subscribe button down below and do click the bell notification button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have videos coming up in the near future, which are a five minute at home workouts, also some full length for workouts, like full body workouts coming soon, weight loss videos, calisthenics progression videos, calisthenics how to videos, and many other different videos to help you go in a direction to gain and maintain the body side of fitness levels and energy levels like I have managed to, and many other people that follow my information consistently over time. And before I end, first I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Clean Machine, which produces and sells some of the cleanest, highest quality fitness supplements out there. Because most of them on the market are full of toxic preservatives, additives, chemicals, and so much other garbage that's not good for your health whatsoever. And I only want to put clean fitness supplements within my body. And this is one of the only companies that I have found that does the cleanest source of BCAAs, which is a really good example. I did so much research for ages, this is why I became interested in this company. It's naturally flavored. No chemicals, no preservatives, no garbage, nothing else. And it's fermented BCAAs as well. And it's fused with coconut electrolytes. And it's just really, really tasty and makes you feel really amazing. Helps optimize your sports performance and reduce my sports recovery time. And they do a whole host of other things, protein powders, testosterone boosters, all natural as well. So if you're interested in them, I'll put links down below for coupons that give you anywhere from 20 to 30% off. So if you're interested in that, you can click that link down below. And if you'd like to leave a comment or you'd like me to make any other types of videos, such as this one or any other videos as well, let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible. And I will reply to you as soon as possible. I love interacting with my viewers. And if you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone else that you think might wanna do this workout consistently to get their sweat on and really, really build those ab muscles over time, which a lot of people find really, really hard to do, but a lot of people are just not working out correctly and consistently and eat in a way to really also get your body fat percentage down as much as possible to actually get visible abs. So yeah, I'm gonna take a rest because I've been making videos for hours now for you, which I love doing. And yeah, train hard, just be consistent with whatever you're trying to do. Keep pushing through. It's gonna be times where you're gonna to quit and give up, but remember, you can make it happen. It's just, you gotta keep on going and going and going, even when you don't want it. And if you wanna get some inspiration, I will put a link for a video here that you can check out where I show you my calisthenics one year transformation where I went from skinny, weak and frail to very ripped and muscular where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle within that time. So if that interests you, you can click that. So yeah, catch you later. Peace.